Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Sam. I am an American who is living in France for almost three years now. I live in Aix-en-Provence, so I thought it was a great idea to share with you some places that you can visit on your trip here to France specifically Provence. So I've created a guide if you are coming here for the week and which places you need to see. So let's jump right into it. The first place on my list is of course where I live, Aix-en-Provence. Aix-en-Provence is such a beautiful city with beautiful architecture. There's museums you can visit, so many cafes, great food. You can wander the streets and see all of the fountains. We have so many fountains here in Aix-en-Provence. You can do guided tours, you can visit the museums, or one of the artists here that actually lived here was Cezanne. So they even have his atelier that you can visit. So there is plenty of things to do here year round. So start off in Aix-en-Provence and just kind of have that be your home base and then you can travel to different places in Provence all throughout the week. Next on my list is my favorite village. It is Lormarin. Lormarin is a quaint village located in the Luberon and you don't need much time to explore this village because it is very small, but it is definitely a must see. There is a beautiful Renaissance castle, cobblestone streets, little cafe shops where you can go ahead and enjoy lunch there. And if you visit on Fridays, you can see their farmer's market where you can go ahead and browse all of the fresh produce, taste their olives. Their olives are so good here in Provence. It's one of my favorite things to get at the farmer's market, the fresh fruits. You can see the local artisans selling their crafts. You can pick up souvenirs. And then also, if you do visit the castle, there is a museum inside that you can go ahead and see. After your visit to Lormarin, make your way to Bonnyu, which is another beautiful village located on a hilltop with beautiful scenery of the countryside. You can just definitely take your time there because it is really, really tiny and it's just lovely to kind of enjoy the slower pace of life while walking wandering the streets, can definitely have dinner there. They have really nice restaurants where you can have beautiful scenery of the landscapes. It's really just a time to kind of slow down and just embrace the slower lifestyle that the French live. And you can enjoy local wine from the local bars or cafes. It's the perfect way to end your second day in Provence. Third day here in Provence, you definitely need to make your way to Roussillon. Roussillon is very different from the other villages here in Provence. They have these beautiful red and orange cliffs that is created basically from the ochre in the soil. And you'll see all of the buildings here, the facades of the buildings are that orange red colors. It is a really, really beautiful village. You can also start your day here at the Sentier des Orques, where you can uh, hike and just see the beautiful landscapes of these orange cliffs. Definitely start your day there and then since I'm sure you've worked up an appetite you can have lunch at one of the local restaurants here or you can go ahead and pack a lunch that's what I did when I visited and they have little uh, nice park benches where you can just be surrounded by olive trees it's just really really a beautiful village and after you're done with Roussillon you can head to Gord it is another hilltop village with stone houses, cobblestone streets. It is really a must-see. Just be prepared, Gord does get very, very busy. And if you're lucky, if you are visiting during June and July, you can go ahead and take a short drive down from Gord to visit the Abbey where they have lavender fields. I would say the end of June uh, to the beginning of July. On your following day, you can visit Moustier Saint Marie and Lac de Saint Croix. Moustier Saint Marie is known as one of the most beautiful villages in France. They are known for their porcelain 
Brooklyn. They even have a museum that you can visit and see the workshop and pick up some souvenirs. They have many shops all throughout the streets here where you can see the local artists work. Then after that, head to Lac de Saint Croix, which is a beautiful, beautiful lake, uh, crystal blue waters. And they have so many activities uh, for you to do. You can rent a kayak or one of their boats or just take a dip in the water. It's really, really lovely that you can do both of these in the same day. It is really a must see if you are going to be making your way to Moustier Saint Marie. Next up is Le Beau de Provence. Le Beau de Provence is a beautiful medieval village where you can see beautiful landscapes that are surrounding. You can also explore Carrier de Lumière where they have famous art installations projected on the wall with music in the background. It's definitely an experience so make sure you have enough time to see this and I would highly recommend probably starting uh, your day there because unfortunately when I visited I didn't start my day there and I wish I would have. After your visit to Le Beau de Provence you can go ahead and drive to Saint Remy de Provence which is about 15 minutes where they have a lot of artwork in the shops here in this village and the reason why is because Vincent van Gogh actually did a lot of his famous paintings here in this village as he was in an asylum which you can actually now visit that is a museum. After visiting the museum, you can go ahead and roam the streets of this stunning village and enjoy an aperitif on the terrace with the local wines or olives or the local cuisine. Next up, we have Ile sur la Sorgue, which is a charming town that's known for its antiques and canals. I would say if you are staying in Aix-en-Provence, you can actually take a bus there, which is probably about an hour drive. Just be mindful though that this bus only has a couple of stops there throughout the day so just pay attention to the timetable of when it's running and if you can I would visit on a Sunday because that is when they have their markets and this is a must-see this is one of the biggest markets that I have visited in Provence where they sell food clothes they have beautiful linen dresses and shirts they have antiques so many antiques this is what Ile sur la Sorgue is really really known for after browsing the markets you can go ahead and walk along the canals where there is restaurants where you can take a lunch break. It really is a charming town and I highly recommend making a trip here. We've come to the last stop and this one is quite different because this is a town located by the sea and it is Cassie. Start off your day eating at one of the restaurants, sit on the terrace and just soak up that sunshine, enjoying a croissant or orange juice uh, or coffee. Then make your way to the port where you can go ahead and take a boat. And this is highly recommended. You have to visit the Kalanks while you're here in Kasi. It is beautiful. It will be crowded, but I'm telling you, it is so worth it. Then when you get back from your boat ride, enjoy lunch. And to end this trip, make sure you stop at Cap Canai. It is located on a hilltop where you will see stunning views. And that is the end of my week itinerary here for you in Provence. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed. If you have visited any of these beautiful towns or villages, make sure you comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite and that you would recommend others to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can't make your way here to Provence, I have tons of videos for you guys to see where you can take a little bit of a virtual escape. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys for another video next week. Bye!